No sleeping in on spring break for this group. This is a working vacation. The College of St. Rose students and advisors are bused to their work site. A home in St. Bernard Parish, one of thousands swamped by Hurricane Katrina. What they see floors them. Holy cow. Mud and muck and mold have destroyed a lifetime of memories. The students can tell an older woman lived here as they admire her ruined antique furniture, the soggy photo of the grandkids, and the notes that somehow survived on the tipped over refrigerator. I love my grandma. I trust her. Families help each other. So it really shows you that someone was living here and... Yeah, it makes it real. But they stick to the job at hand. It's manual labor, hard, dirty work that has to be done. This house has to be emptied and then stripped down to its frame if it's ever to be restored. Physically, it's exhausting, but I don't even know. Uh, when you know that you're doing it for someone else, it doesn't even seem that hard. It keeps you going, it really does. Amy Jo Smith is a freshman who can't help but be moved by what she is seeing. I play the piano and it really got me in this house was the grand piano absolutely ruined and destroyed. And what we had to do was just take it apart and bring it. And it's just this beautiful piece of furniture. Candace, do you want to save this? I think we should. We tried to save a lot of it. Um, a lot of the glass made it, and ironically, a lot of it's angels. So this family definitely had them with them. The students do what it takes to get them through the day from the solemn. We ask your mercy and gentleness on all the people who loved and, and dwelt in this house. To the lighthearted. Do you feel like you're making a difference? I think every little bit helps, you know? I mean, what are you gonna do? Just sit in your house and like watch it on TV and feel bad for yourself, you know, or feel bad for them? Like, you gotta get in it. And if there's any doubt that these students are making a difference, just ask the displaced next door neighbor who returned to her street, the street she loves and raised her family on, to see things in shambles, but to still see hope. I'm in awe. I can't believe that they would give up their time and travel this far to come help us. I'm watching them with the hard work they're doing here, and it just it speaks a lot of, of the younger generation. I'm very proud of them. College is such a selfish thing, you know? Like, it's all about you, what you want to do, your gold, your dreams, your whatever. But giving back is like, it makes it, it makes your day worth living. In just a couple of days they've spent here, these students are probably learning more than they'd get in a semester full of classes back home. And each and every one tells me they've learned lessons that will stay with them for the rest of their lives. Just outside New Orleans, I'm Greg Floyd, CBS 6 News.